Hello, today I'm going to be talking about broadleaf dock. Its Latin name is Rumex obtusifolius. It is a weed that I have in my backyard. I wanted to see if it had any um, positive impacts on my soil or the other plants around it. So I did a little research and I actually learned some pretty cool things about it. First off, it is originally from Europe, but it grows in zones 4 through 10. It prefers full sun and poorly drained soil, so it really likes wet environments that get a lot of light, which actually makes sense because we have pretty clay soil, which is poorly drained, and also this area of my backyard gets a lot of sunlight in the summer. Doc has a perennial rootstock, but its foliage dies back every year. In the first year, it can get up to one and a half feet wide and tall, and then it can get up to four feet wide in later years. It has a large taproot, which makes it so that it is more drought tolerant because it can reach water that's further down, but it's also a nutrient accumulator, so it's able to access nutrients that plants with shallow roots can't. Some of the nutrients that it is thought to accumulate in particular are magnesium, potassium, and phosphate. So if your soil is poor in some of those, you can use this plant to get them up into the leaves and then chop and drop the plant so that those nutrients go back into your soil, but on a level where your other plants can access them. When I first saw this, it actually reminded me a lot of comfrey, just like the leaf shape and how it's like very big. Um, and I actually found that it is a uh, weed suppressor. So it is very competitive and because of that is able to um, beat out other weeds like grass or anything else that you have in your yard. So it's good for suppressing other weeds. Um, Doc has these green flowers with like these little pink buds in them that eventually turn brown. Um, it has quite big leaves because broadleaf Doc, which is what reminded me of comfrey. It has edible leaves, but they contain oxalic acid. So if you eat too much of it, it's not good for you. Um, the leaves can also be made into a medicinal salve used to treat skin that has been irritated due to um, stinging nettle. The seeds are also edible and you can make them into a flower. One of my friends actually recently did this and I hope that I get to try it with him sometime. Maybe we can try some baking and see how it turns out. Uh, definitely this is one of my preferred weeds. Thank you so much for watching!